Hi, welcome to Modern Marvels again. Uh, so, let's talk about this thing. Uh, I'm going to keep a running total up there somewhere. Um, and I apologise now if I ramble a bit, because I really don't like this. Um, so, we bought the body when it was initially released ages ago and then of course found that it doesn't fit anything else except for their chassis. So there's a price for the body. Um, then what can we say? It's very very thin. I would say our G-Made Komodo Lexan body is actually thicker than this. Um, you're seeing it here with some aftermarket wheels on so that we could match the colour. Um, the kit is actually included with wheels and I think tyres, can't remember. Um, uh, yeah, it's, you know, all the doors open. Great, you can have the roof off. There's some nice tie down clips in the bed there um, but if you want the scale look you need to buy the inside as an extra another price for your list there um, so moving on to oh fixing the body is a couple of pins off the rear bumper and then two screws under here and this is where ours fell down these light lenses are held in by four tiny little screws which we've had to then remove to allow the chassis wheel arch to fit the body wheel arch and then screw through the two which is a real pain if you've got to take the thing apart uh, so uh, that's kind of the body oh yeah bonnet opens or hood opens if you need it to uh, so moving on to the chassis and this is you know I think what really got us down so again price up there somewhere so it's getting expensive um, it's got its headlines are <coughs> it's got a two-speed gearbox which is great it's got two or four-wheel drive which is great and it's got remote diff lock which would be great if it works and it just doesn't now part of that is down to the fact that they <coughs> give you sizes for the servos so rather than a recommended servo it's just a size which we found really hard to track down the right kind of right sort of size servo with the right amount of power in the end we went for some Traxxas what are they? TR4s, which just fit. Uh, fourth servo, if you can see there, is for the steering, which is frankly a rubbish angle. So trail, fine. Scale, I suppose, fine. Just don't think about even crawling this thing. Um, let's go back to the diff lock. It's your standard cable operated, but the, the Bowden tube part is not attached to the axle. So basically they don't work. The servo is just flops about. There's no proper screw down mounting. It's just clipped between two bits of metal, which are basically the only two bits of metal on it. Everything else is plastic chassis wise. Uh, drive shafts are metal and that's about it um, also suspension it solely relies on springs these shock adorbers do nothing they are literally just tubes um, you've got the strap here which stops overextension although how you're going to get overextension I don't know because there's there's hardly anything to it uh, I'll put it down in a minute and see if you can see if you can see how just how poor the travel is. Um, so, like I said, we've got the 
two and four wheel drive and the high and low speed working we've spent 30 hours or so so far trying to get the standard configuration diff lock working and I think you'll see there's videos of on YouTube of people doing workarounds because it's just so poorly designed it's basically a lot of money for for what it is um, so you're going to need as I've said four servos which is I'm going I'm working on all of this I'm working in dollars just to make it easier for everybody out there <coughs> and that's going to be at least a hundred dollars um, then of course you need a radio which is capable of uh, at least five channels so I'll add that on as well then you want motor speed controller the engine bay is quite nicely detailed but again unless you uh, luck out and happen to buy the right kind of servo most of the detail you've got to leave off the front of the engine because the motor takes up the space and is right up against the servo because there's a nice fans and belt system which basically won't fit on um, there's there is two yeah two metal sections here I don't know if we can see just here on and that's the only metal on the chassis everything else is plastic um, right let's put it over there right I won't include our upgrade of the wheels and tires in the price so we've covered body chassis uh, we've covered servos we've now covered um, even a basic motor and speed control so stick that up there and I've forgotten something oh and radio so you're basically looking you're getting on towards thousand dollars for <laughs> it's something that's not worth anywhere near that that's um can can you see you can see can you see from there just about so i'll turn it around a bit more and then you've got that, that's it so i mean you compare that to any decent crawler which is you know going to have one wheel up here and everything else well this isn't i mean uh, let's pick that up so you can see it there so uh, we say don't touch it, leave it alone. It's not worth it. There's so much better out there for that kind of money. In fact, there's so much better out there for less money. So and, unless you are absolutely desperate on having this body, um, then no, stay, stay, steer clear, steer clear. Um, and, and all this is before we've even attempted running the thing. Um, so the, we've just got so much to dislike about it. Uh, and I just know that there's no way it's going to perform even anywhere remotely near, you know, any anything else that we've got. So that's our, our verdict there. Uh, thanks for watching. I will get it running soon. Uh, stay tuned, please subscribe, leave us your thoughts if you agree or disagree down in the comments. See you again soon. Bye.